Welcome to Research Hub. In statistical research, a variable is defined as an attribute of an object of study. Choosing which variables to measure is central to good experimental design. Variables are fundamental components of research that allow for the measurement and analysis of data. They can be defined as characteristics or properties that can take on different values. In research design, Understanding the types of variables and their roles is crucial for developing hypotheses, designing methods, and interpreting results. In this video, we define types of variables in research, including their definitions and examples, to provide a clear understanding of their use and significance in research studies. By categorizing variables into distinct groups based on their roles in research, their types of data, and their relationships with other variables, researchers can more effectively structure their studies and achieve more accurate conclusions. Let's begin. So, first, what is a variable? A variable represents any characteristic, number, or quantity that can be measured or quantified. The term encompasses anything that can vary or change, ranging from simple concepts like age and height to more complex ones like satisfaction levels or economic status. Variables are essential in research as they are the foundational elements that researchers manipulate, measure, or control to gain insights into relationships, causes, and effects within their studies. They enable the framing of research questions, the formulation of hypotheses, and the interpretation of results. Variables can be categorized based on their role in the study, such as independent and dependent variables, the type of data they represent, quantitative or categorical, and their relationship to other variables, like confounding or control variables. So, what are the five types of variables in research? Variables are crucial components in research, serving as the foundation for data collection, analysis, and interpretation. They are attributes or characteristics that can vary among subjects or over time, and understanding their types is essential for any study. Variables can be broadly classified into five main types, each with its distinct characteristics and roles within research. This classification helps researchers in designing their studies, choosing appropriate measurement techniques, and analyzing their results accurately. The five types of variables include independent variables, dependent variables, categorical variables, continuous variables, and confounding variables. The independent variable is the cause. Its value is independent of other variables in your study. What is an independent variable? An independent variable is the variable you manipulate or vary in an experimental study to explore its effects. It's called independent because it's not influenced by any other variables in the study. Independent variables are also called explanatory variables. They explain an event or outcome. Predictor variables, they can be used to predict the value of a dependent variable. Right-hand side variables, they appear on the right-hand side of a regression equation. These terms are especially used in statistics, where you estimate the extent to which an independent variable change can explain or predict changes in the dependent variable. There are two main types of independent variables. Experimental independent variables can be directly manipulated by researchers. Subject variables cannot be manipulated by researchers, but they can be used to group research subjects categorically. 1. Experimental variables. In experiments, you manipulate independent variables directly to see how they affect your dependent variable. The independent variable is usually applied at different levels to see how the outcomes differ. You can apply just two levels in order to find out if an independent variable has an effect at all. You can also apply multiple levels to find out how the independent variable affects the dependent variable. 2. Subject variables. Subject variables are characteristics that vary across participants, and they can't be manipulated by researchers. For example, gender identity, ethnicity, race, Income and education are all important subject variables that social researchers treat as independent variables. 
the characteristics as the presumed causes of the outcome you investigate in the research. 1. Manipulative, you can control the variable and change its value or condition. 2. Variability, the variable has a different value that you can assign. 3. Exogenity, other variables cannot influence and 4, which makes it external to the research subject. The dependent variable is the effect. Its value depends on changes in the independent variable. What is a dependent variable? A dependent variable is the variable that changes as a result of the independent variable manipulation. And it depends on your independent variable. In statistics, dependent variables are also called 1. Response variables. They respond to a change in another variable. 2. Outcome variables. They represent the outcome you want to measure. 3. Left-hand side variables. They appear on the left-hand side of a regression equation. The dependent variable is what you record after you've manipulated the independent variable. You use this measurement data to check whether and to what extent your independent variable influences the dependent variable by conducting statistical analyses, based on your findings. You can estimate the degree to which your independent variable variation drives changes in your dependent variable. You can also predict how much your dependent variable will change as a result of variation in the independent variable. Characteristics of dependent variables 1. Response Dependent variables is the variable that responds to the manipulation in an independent variables. 2. Measurability You can quantity or measure a dependent variable. 3. Outcome The variable represents the result of the independent variable. These two methods are some commonly used independent and dependent variable identifiers. 3. Categorical variables, also known as qualitative or discrete variables, are a type of data variable that represent categories or labels. Unlike numerical variables that take on numeric values. Categorical variables have a finite number of distinct categories or groups, and each observation falls into one of these categories. Categorical variables are commonly used in statistics and data analysis to classify data into meaningful groups. There are two main types of categorical variables. 1. Nominal variables. Nominal variables represent categories with no inherent order or ranking, for examples. Colors, red, blue, green, etc. Types of animals, cat, dog, bird, etc. Marital status, single, married, divorced, nominal variables, there is no natural or meaningful way to compare or rank the categories. Each category is distinct and unrelated to the others. 2. Ordinal variables, ordinal variables also represent categories, but they have a meaningful order or ranking among the categories. For examples, education level, high school, bachelor's, master's, PhD. Customer satisfaction rating, very dissatisfied, dissatisfied, neutral, satisfied, very satisfied. Ordinal variables have a specific order, but the intervals between categories may not be uniform or well-defined. What is meant by continuous variable? A continuous variable is defined as a variable which can take an uncountable set of values or infinite set of values. For instance, if a variable over a non-empty range of the real numbers is continuous, then it can take on any value in that range. The continuous variables are of two types, one, instant variable, the variables that define the level or distance between each category which is equal and static are known as instant variables, point two, ratio variable. The variables having only one variation from the interval variable are known as ratio variables. The ratio between the score gives the information between the responses regarding the relationship. What are confounding variables? A confounding variable, confounder, is a factor other than the one being studied that is associated both with the disease, dependent variable, and with the factor being studied, independent variable. A confounding variable may distort or mask the effects of another variable on the disease in question. For example, 
a hypothesis that coffee drinkers have more heart disease than non-coffee drinkers may be influenced by another factor, coffee drinkers may smoke more cigarettes than non-coffee drinkers. So smoking is a confounding variable in the study of the association between coffee drinking and heart disease. The increase in heart disease may be due to the smoking and not the coffee. More recent studies have shown coffee drinking to have substantial benefit in heart health and in the prevention of dementia. Don't forget like share and subscribe my channel.